baby sunshine goddess 333 holla at your girl guys yes baby happy 1010 money manifestation day yes where you been so hit that notification button down below baby so you're notified when i post my videos i'm already like drooling but readings writings rituals spiritual consultation no job too small i literally do it all so energy is energy if it resonates res i hope you guys have me a great week so far middle of the week hump day i hope you guys are getting ready getting yourself together for this last bit of the stretch of the year because i'm telling you like blessings on blessings are literally coming for the collective so so you know first of all 11 11 is a big number that i've been seeing for like the past couple days all right spirit I, okay i see you i see you with the 11 11 somebody's making a wish so the title of this reading is now mind you i only like have the first part that i wanted to tell you guys and it's growing weary so by the time i finish this reading i will have the rest of the title for you but yes growing weary and antsy and not being able to come forward in this relationship and this connection i'm just getting myself ready so the energy i pick up we're going to use some clairvoyance energy that i have that i that i'm able to obtain from this relationship from this connection somebody's worried that they're running out of time it's not only that they're running out of time if somebody's in a third party situation it's like they're realizing that you are divine they're realizing that this is a divine relationship a divine connection yes you may told them plenty of times listen you're my twin flame or you're my soulmate or you're my kingdom spouse they didn't want to believe you they it's not that they didn't want to believe you they weren't listening you know i also feel like this person feels like in this relationship connection oh i didn't put it on do not disturb but that's okay i also feel like this person feels like it's like they feel like they're disobeying god by not being with you in their life now you're like what the heck yeah this person feels that they're going against god by not being in, in a relationship and a connection with you hold on let me see you guys if i can just yeah i, I gotta put this do not disturb on i would hate for this message to get messed up but um so this person feels like they're going against god now mind you i just got my nails done and i put lotion and my hands feel extremely dry in two seconds so I'm telling you, this person, nothing in this person's life is going right. And they feel like that it'll be better and get things will start becoming better in life if they reconnect with you. So I feel like also, so what are these energies too that I, I had picked up some energies prior to? So surprises, sometimes shocking, total peridium shift, ideas preserved, non-action entitlement. So what this is giving me is this person feels like just because, you know the energy that I picked up the other day where they're like, oh, well, my person will always be there and wait and stay and okay and all that. And because you've waited patiently and then this person's like, well, what happens if I don't make a move? So I feel like this person is aware that this relationship, that this connection is, is rare, okay? So let's start with that. But then and another one of the energies is growing very weary not sure you know if if they're going to be able to come back in a relationship and a connection with you so i'm just really guided to get my traditional tarot cards and just pull on this energy and see what we got okay so but the energy that i'm picking up is somebody really is i am in love with you you set me free i can't do these things called life without you here with me because i'm dangerously in love with you so this person knows again this person is very aware that there's some type of a divine abundance attached to this relationship, attached to this connection. I just pick up this person that you've been very patient, okay? And part of this person's energy that I'm picking up is they're worried that if they came back, you wouldn't accept them back in their life, okay? So so they're aware that this is a divine connection. That's what I'm really picking up. So it's very clarify the shocking surprises that this person, you know, what, sh what shocked this person? What What's the surprise? that they didn't that they didn't they didn't they refuse this relationship they refuse this connection they're shocked by that because if you go pray to god for a black sweater and you get a black sweater and you're not gonna wear it and i feel like this person is really looking at you like a blessing and you 11 11 is very significant really looking at you like a blessing yeah they want to come out of this energy so yes what i feel like also if there's a third party they don't care anymore if this third party trying to throw magic in my form it won't prosper stop what's happened is this third party if they are trying to throw magic or whatever the case may be it's over like they can't do it no more but what i do feel like this person wants to come in and they don't you know yes you may be patiently waiting for your person or you have been or whatever your case may be right but there's something about this energy which i feel like they've grown spiritually but i think it's something about your energy that's like you know I, they don't feel as you being as open to for them returning okay so now this person wants to try to find relief 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 okay so i just feel like you know i also feel like this person them not being in your life nothing fills their voids so like so 
if they're with a third party situation it's, there's no emotional attachment okay this person may have just wanted your person and they're just like all right they're here because i feel like you may have been on the outs and they weren't sure and so they just like went for what was easier because they didn't want to do the work whatever the case may be they don't want that third party situation so now this person trying to figure out how to come forward now this energy is giving me that they've been working on their self and they regret not moving forward with you in a relationship or a connection because they feel like you know i'm gonna put this as part of the title too but they feel like they are going against god by not being with you because because they can tell the difference about how blessed and abundant their life is when you're together and how it doesn't feel the same when you're not okay so spirit clarify some more of these energies so going forward spirit what some of these energies and helicopter may be significant i'm telling you this person's really they've been watching somebody's watching me and you knew they're watching you big time heavy okay if they have a karmic the karmic's watching you too but again scorpio pisces cancer gemini libra aquarius there's no love in that connection there's no nurturing energy with the queen of cups energy this person's like i literally jumped out the the frying pan into the fire okay so they're just with this person just because there's no love ain't no love in the heart of the city it's nothing it's nothing here and i feel like this person they're not into that other person as as much as the other person's into them they're they're just not okay and and listen this isn't saying that your person is so i don't want you to feel like so you just want me to accept someone back that chose someone over me? No, I'm just giving you the energy of how they feel. Now, if that happens, okay, well, they have to be, I see, that's why I'm saying, that's why this person it feels like they don't know how to end that karmic relationship, that karmic connection with that other person. That's what it's giving me too. So so remember, this is everyone's journey separate. I'm just trying to keep the the sun from coming in everyone has different parts of their journey right and i feel like this person's learned that you don't you don't mess with your blessings if if god bless you with exactly what you want you better take it with this sun card if god gave you exactly what you want why are you like choosing other so it's like this person's realizing they were rebelling against their self their blessings their abundance the the love of god even in their life this person feels as though you were like sent from god see you bring out some energy in this person that other people don't and i feel like they try to have this hard ass face on or they try to be like oh like you know like they're they're they try to be so ma mochissimo like macho you know if it's the divine feminine she tries to be so hard but like relax you're you're entitled to love but wanting this new beginning so if there was magic it's done it's over you know why because your person's deciding to be a better person they're growing they're so this energy right here they're learning from some lessons that they had in the past they've learned they've really learned and now they want to apply it to this relationship this connection king of swords energy so now they know that they were selfish now they're realizing this person feels like they didn't even take time to even ask you how you felt. They didn't take time to consider how you felt. This person literally was in energy of I'm going to do whatever I want to do, however I want to do it. Now we have Queen of Cups energy here and King of Swords energy, divine counterpart energies, energy, if it resonates, it resonates. Spirit, clarify, well, how does this person feel free? What is it about this connection that this person feels free? That, you know, you accept, see, the thing is you accept this person as, as who they are. That's, and this person's coming towards you like soon, okay? So with this Six of Wands and the Sun card, what this tells me is it's not no better choice but you because i'd rather be with you baby because with you it's it, with you it becomes it's anointing Ooh, using those big words baby with you it's anointing they feel like this relationship is a truly a bless a blessing from god and they want this with the sun card sun card's all about positivity and good luck fortune and with the six of with six of wands energy that's about goodwill fame fortune as well so this person's really interested in coming towards you for this new beginning now again there may be a karmic person that they're dealing with that they don't want them to come forward to you but spirit clarify this yeah releasing fear and veiling secrets so this king of swords energy like listen i realize the truth is i want to be with my person it's took me long enough to go forward all these nights uh, okay so we got a night but we saw someone on a horse going forward to what this new beginning no matter what this person's like how can i so they're in the energy like dag i really have this person like waiting for me and it, there's no ego on pride here so they're and my hands get dry so like guys i don't know the heck this is going on but they're in the energy of like no ego and pride they're literally going for what their heart desires especially with this sun card so we're gonna clarify this full card they're going for where their heart desires to be with you because oh because something about this person it's like damn like i've been with these other people 
I've dealt these other people. I've slept with these other people. Nothing ever fills the void just the way that my person does. I got to go give them. So I got to give them something, some type of love offer. Again, with all these knights are pointing to the same direction, the full card, the, the, eight of, the eight of pentacles card. And listen, this person realizes there, there, there's a spirit baby energy here too, but I feel like it's something about this person that you helped them heal some type of you know energy especially from being like a young child like something happened to them when they were younger and you're the only person that can like they feel safe and comfortable around okay so that would be for a small portion but no it's all these horses coming through okay and with this horse in the nude also desiring a sexual connection desiring a sexual connection yeah so look at what the queen of wands and this uh ace of pentacles they're letting that relationship go queen of wands is always like like a uh, relationship side bitch energy they're letting that queen of wands go they're like they just got with that person because maybe it was just for like some type of like financial gain or something but this person knows see what's giving this this person knows that this karmic something about this karmic is not spiritually in tune like you it was 11 11 o'clock don't play because you are who they're supposed to be with in spirit okay so this person knowing with the heart friend card no i'm not really supposed to be with this other person i'm supposed to really be with the person that god ordained me to be with the queen of swords energy so there may be another person trying to hold this relationship connection back spirit who is this okay lacking lacking balance lack of organization justice card so again this there so this is giving that this person was only this karma was only with your person for financial gain for financial gain and they know that so i feel like this person trying to play games not play games i feel like they're trying to like wiggle their way out spirit clarify this this uh this single card what is this single card yeah nice of wands so this person they still act single behind their back so does their karmic energy to energy if it resonates resonate, but they want to be with you this person knew not to move forward to that karmic situation they knew they continuously dream about you so what this is telling me queen of swords energy i mean uh page of swords energy they're watching you so what this is telling me this person at first they were like no i don't believe in twin flames or i don't believe in this and they thought you were doing some type of damn magic baby if i was doing magic to get the man i have the man and everything that i desire we don't waste magic on things that we wait for god for okay so i feel like they thought that oh you're doing magic how the hell could someone do magic on you you see your own synchronicities i'm not there when you see your synchronicities i'm not there when you see you know so i feel like they thought that at some point you know speaking in third party that they thought that at some point you did some type of weird magic shit but the dreams it's something about the dreams. It was something about this full moon, this full moon in Gemini that's really pushing this person towards you. Really, like they want to be with you. I'd rather be with you, babe. This person wants to be with you in a relationship and connection. They're going to. Nothing's going to stop it because nothing even matters at all because they're going through a spiritual awakening. Epiphany, baby. This person said, why am I going to? You know, it's scary, okay? So what I pick up again as well, 444 right here is they're scared, okay? They're scared because of things that happen. <clears throat> excuse me they're scared because of things that happened in the past they're scared of the things they went through see with this karmic person yeah they may be with them but they don't put their all into them their all is not into that relationship that connection so it's like with you they're like they they can put their all they can be who they need to be love at first sight because yeah i've been 1341 on the clock baby because this is what they've been wanted the moment you two met each other was a moment you knew you were supposed to be together they try to keep a player they try to keep it ego they try to keep it pride they try to keep it pimping nah this isn't my person we do, i'm just gonna smash i'm just gonna move you know and you never left their life they never stop thinking about you and this person has tried over and over and over and over again to forget about this relationship connection and they can't and they haven't you know why because it's ordained and they asked for this see don't stop playing with god asking god for a black sweater if you really want a blue one don't do that okay so this person's realizing you're the blessing that's it you're the blessing and something about this person they feel like they've turned on god by by you know, that was one of my first cards, the Four of Cups in reverse. You know, they feel like they've turned on God by, especially with their abundance. This person has gone through lots and lots of karma. Now, whatever their karma was, that's on them. We don't really care. We don't want to know. Everyone has their own journey anyway, but they weren't learning the lessons, so they weren't getting the blessings. It literally is what it is, and I feel like this person has took such a financial hit when it comes to their karma. 
I feel like because they chose worldly possessions, people, places, and things over genuine, authentic, pure relationship connection that they asked for. See, see, we're not leaving that part out that they asked for. So surprise, shock, uh, total perdium shift, seizing opportunities, letting go of regret, end of stagnation. They feel like as soon as they deny this relationship, deny this connection, like all their blessings, like literally was like, oh, okay, and was out. So I feel like this person is making great changes. Again, I told you ecstasy desiring a sexual encounter with you. Energy to energy, if it resonates, it resonates. Top of the deck is telepathy, sending you telepathic messages. I feel at first this person thought, oh no, they put magic on me, no, but they, they're they aware. With the spiritual awakening, they are telepathically trying to connect with you. But something about this energy, the divine telling them to slow down because I feel like they're gonna come in authentic and true they want you to trust them. They 1555 on the clock, 555. They want you to trust them. See, this person is going to come in a different energy where you can trust. Okay. It's, but, but again, use your own intuition. What you've been, you've been manifesting this person. So when I was driving here after getting my nails done, I got, was just guided to sit by the beach. I was guided to just come over here and do a reading for you guys. First of all, the first song that came out, something about manifesting. This person trying to manifest you back. Then, then the second song was about blessings. I said, oh, spirit, I'm going to park right here and do this, do this reading for you with this sweet song. So they're not only telepathically communicating with you. They're they're sending you songs through music, just like I said. Y'all know, y'all know how I do. Such as crew, energy's energy. If it resin, resin, and they want to provide you with a safe place. I am in love with you. You set me free. I can't do this thing called life without you with me. They don't feel like life is the same when you're not around. I love you guys, such as crew. Energy's energy, if it resonates, it resonates. This person feels as though, like, taking a leap of faith. There we go. They feel as though, like, if they get right and do right by you, that, like, life will be better. Life will be much better. So, Spirit, clarify some of these ener energies. I want to help you in all areas of your life. Okay? So, Spirit, clarify you are my best snack. We saw that sexual energy. I'm trying to get away from it. No more arguments and fright, fights. I'm telling you, they know, they feel guilty of some of the things that you guys had arguments about where they were saying, oh, maybe you're bugging. No, you weren't. They know you're not. And they're they're aware that you weren't bugging. They're aware that you legit have reasons of why maybe you are upset with this person or why, you know, maybe this person kept pulling away and you were like, hello, you know, you pull me close to let me go. Like, whatever the case may be whatever you were talking to this person about whatever was, was was whatever was creating those fights and arguments this person's like gonna man up or woman up to that like they know this this energy saying like i know i was the one that was like creating the fights because of the things that they were doing date night maybe possibly asking you if you want to go out on a date night paper it makes my hand so dry too i pray to god about us and this would be like god i'm sorry i didn't accept your blessing can you give me Biggie, give me one more chance. Woo! Pregnancy dreams. Again, you know, having pregnancy dreams of you guys in your future. This person, I'm telling you, the ghost of Christmas, past, present, future came to visit this person. Yeah, yeah, mm hmm You know I love you. And again, the energy this person, they always think that you're supposed to know how they feel. Okay, energy is energy. If it resonates, it would you have my baby? I am in love with you. I thought about what you said. Okay, love in the purest form. I can't do these things co life without you here with me. I yearn for your touch. Sexual energy. I love you guys and trust crew. This is what they want. They want you. I love this. I love when you guys send me confirmation. Sometimes, yeah, I don't know. Y'all yeah, confirmation be confirmation for me too. Energy is energy. If it res, res, it. And this person spent so much time thinking that you were too good for them. And then realize, you know, not realizing this is divine. Strowman Mike, the ki killing me softly with his song, telling my whole life. So the more you're distant from this person, the more they want to come forward absence truly makes our girl stronger cry me a river they're just worried that you you may not accept them back a lot of releasing has been taking place what worked in the past is no longer working they're not going to come in in the same shit that they did before because they know they know that it's not going to work pay what you owe praying they're praying to god to be able to they're like god if you just give me one more chance to have Sunshine Goddess Collective come back in my life, I promise you I'm going to do better. Amen. Because I declare a decree as Sunshine Goddess to, to not allow anything 
uh, karmic or or negative detachment to interfere in these relationships and these to interfere in these kingdom relationships kingdom ordained prodigals whatever the case may be that nothing or no demonic negative entity can you know come in between you guys i love you guys sunshine's crew energy's energy if it resonates this is a connection between souls that recognize from a past lifetime desiring a physical intimate exchange they're not gonna let us let that go because it is hump day 1010 money manifestation where you been i love you guys sunshine's crew keep your head up in your glow scott and i'll catch you guys on my midday mix sermon next read whatever come first Mwah.